Hey guys, it's Brooks here. And today I wanna to talk about imaging. I get a lot of questions around this topic. Things like, I've adopted modern management, but what do I do about imaging? Or how do I transition away from the tried and true task sequences we have with insert PCLM tool? Or I've got the factory to user process set up and working great, but there are times when we still need to re-image, but we don't wanna invest in a whole new infrastructure. So what do we do? Well, there are several options out there and I hope to cover them in future videos, but today, I wanna talk about one specific tool, and it's called OSD Cloud. This awesome free tool, written by David Segura, allows you to image PCs from the cloud without any infrastructure, and it's totally free. I love this because it's simple, doesn't require very much setup at all, no servers to maintain, no complicated setups in Azure or AWS or some other cloud-hosted solution, and 100% of the content comes from the cloud. So we're talking the OS, drivers, model-specific drivers, the code itself, and even customizable scripts that you can load in and host on GitHub that are completely dynamic. So I wanna do a quick walkthrough, how to set it up, how to get it working, how to customize a little bit to suit your own organization's needs. All right, let's begin. Okay, so OSD Cloud, all the documentation and detailed step-by-steps are on the website osdcloud.osdeploy.com. So I've linked it here, you can take a look at all these different functions and what they do. I've written a little script to just simplify it just a little bit, so it's a little bit easier to go through this without having to manually enter in all of the steps. So here's my script. You can see I have a few functions. ADK, workspace, so this is where you will be creating a local workspace on the PC. WinPE drivers, so this you can specify which model drivers you would like to include in the WinPE environment. Dell usually is a pretty good bet for most systems, but you may need HP or others as well. I won't be going over Wi-Fi today, but just know that this does have Wi-Fi capability as well. I have a switch for new, whether you want to do a full new setup. Build ISO, which will create the ISO at the end. A custom URL, which I'll show how to integrate your own front-end custom script when this, the tool first launches, as well as a build USB. So I've got my script here, OSD cloud underscore starter dot PS1 dash ADK. This means that I will be installing the Windows 10 ADK and the WinPE ADK, which is required for this tool to work. Then my workspace will be C colon slash OSD cloud. For WinPE drivers, I will be doing Dell and I'd like a new setup. So that'll take a little while to complete. You can see mine completed in about three minutes or so. Now let's go to the next step. At this point, all of the content is set up on your workspace. So mine was C slash OSD cloud. It's got a lot of content here. You can see autopilot folder, driver packs, logs, media, OS. At this point, if you'd like to add an offline autopilot file, you can definitely add it in here. I won't be doing that today but just know that you can do that. So at this point, we could go ahead and create our ISO, load it into a VM and test out the process. But I actually want to add in a customization to this process so that when the tool first launches inside of WinPE, I get a little menu to select. So I've written another script and placed it on my GitHub. I just called it brooks-osdcloud.ps1. Basically, it's just a simple menu that will pop up and it will prompt for whether I want to do a zero touch Win 10 21H1 English Enterprise, zero touch 20H2 English Enterprise, or just number three, I'll select it myself. If you select it yourself, you'll, you'll have the full list of every operating system version, a bunch more languages, and OS edition as well. So to integrate this into the tool, you can create your own or you can use mine if you would like. Upload it to GitHub, click on the raw, and then we wanna copy this URL. So we'll do our script again, OSD cloud starter. This time I wanna do a custom URL and then I will go ahead and paste in my long URL. And then while we're at it, let's go ahead and do a build ISO. What this will do is it will actually edit the WinPE boot file 
so that when it boots, there's a little CMD file that launches called startnet.cmd. This will actually be programmed to call my PowerShell script instead of just the standard PowerShell. So this is a great way to add additional functionality, custom menus, custom front-end UIs even. There's a lot of options that we can do here. So I'll check back in a second when this is done. So do note that if you make other edits to the WinPE file with his built-in function called edit-osdcloud.winpe, you'll always have to specify the parameter to use a custom URL. Otherwise, it won't add it by default and it won't launch the first time you run it. So just remember to add uh, the custom URL there when you are doing any other edits. Okay, so mine completed. As you can see, I've got a couple files here. OSDCloud.iso, OSDCloud underscore no prompt. Either can be used. The only difference here is that the no prompt one, it will not prompt you to press any key to boot from the ISO. So now that we have these, let's go ahead and add it to our VM. So I've got one here. I've gone ahead and created this ahead of time. And I've got my ISO mounted here, OSDCloud underscore no prompt. So let's power it on. And you can see, bam, it boots right away without any prompting. Okay, there we go. My menu has loaded. So this is looking good. If I move this aside, you can see that the startnet command is actually launching my PowerShell script from the web. So he's got this function called invoke-webps script, and this will pull down my script and run this dynamically in WinPE. So anytime I make changes to this script and push it to GitHub, the changes will be reflected the next time I load WinPE. So let's go ahead and make a selection. I will select number one, which is Zero Touch Win 10 21H1 English and Enterprise. It will first load the OSD Cloud PowerShell module from the PowerShell gallery. Then it will load the disk, disk number zero, and go ahead and wipe it. Do keep in mind though, if you use this zero touch option, it will automatically wipe the drive without any sort of prompting. So make sure that you are comfortable with doing this uh, as any data on the drive will be wiped. For some reason, this get my driver pack is erroring on VMware virtual machines for drivers, but don't worry about that. VMware virtual machines don't really need drivers to function. But if it's a physical machine, such as a Dell laptop, 7440, an HP, Lenovo, or several other options, then it will dynamically grab the model, download the driver pack from the vendor, and automatically install those drivers. They will be downloaded to a folder on the hard drive called C slash drivers. So now it's downloading the Windows 10 OS itself from Microsoft website. You can see here, you can see the speed, my connection, things tend to go pretty fast, but your results may vary depending on the speed of your internet. And this step here is basically saving the OST PowerShell modules to the operating system so that when it reboots, it has access to them as well. It also updates the boot file so that it's bootable and programs Windows to look in the folder C slash drivers for driver injection on first boot. And there we go, we have officially finished imaging a PC 100% from the cloud. There are several other functions that are included in OSD Cloud that I just didn't have time to cover today. Things like the ability to deploy over wireless, installing Office 365 during the build process, and even support for custom images. Also, I hope to make another video soon on how to integrate this process with Workspace ONE enrollment and offline domain join. If you'd like to see my offline domain join video, click here. So give this tool a try. How fast were you able to image a PC from the cloud? Let me know in the comments below. 
All right, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching.